Well, let's keep it moving. Let's let's do a little speculation here. Melvin Gordon linked to the Ravens, possibly. Now, even if they don't really sign him, like, is it? I mean, obviously, if they sign him, it's one thing. But is is the the reading? The, how are we going to say the fact this? that they're even entertaining bringing in a guy like Melvin Gordon? Does yeah. that are there tea leaves on the wall? The tea leaves is what I was for J.K. For. Dobbins' yeah. dynasty value. So dynasty value in general, I mean, that's a little worrisome. I think it's more so that I don't know if J.K. Dom is going to be ready for the beginning of the season. Right. And Gus Edwards so, either. They're both coming off really serious and injuries. Hill, all three of their backs are coming so off think, big injuries. So I think that's why, right? They got the old guys last year. So they just need they just need a healthy body. So I think yeah. like and Melvin Gordon's on the market. So in also the Ravens, look, they disappoint they had a disappointing season last year, right? Lamar was hurt. And I think they just they want wins, right? right. They don't care about obviously our fantasy right. team. They just right. want wins. And Melvin Gordon's still a really good yeah. back. Yeah. So I think it's more so because J.K. Domas isn't gonna be ready. Obviously, if he signs there. It's definitely going to hurt J.K. Dobbins. Oh, yeah, his value is going to plummet, and he's going to be a buy because J.K. Dobbins is still extremely very right, talented, right. and he's young running back. But and also, how long is Melvin Gordon going to be? Well, if he does uh, sign, how many? I can't years? imagine he's going to take one year though. Like you got, I think Melvin's going to at least want long. two, right? Like I mean, yeah. I'm, obviously there's probably an out in the contract, but like that's still two years of really messing with with J.K.'s potential peak where where and he would be at the apex. Yeah, and lack of reception, too. That's the problem with right. Baltimore, right? We're not expecting them to get a lot of backs. So if you bring in a caliber of back like Melvin Gordon. Who can also ooh, catch, right? Hurt. Pretty that's, good on third that's, down, you're right. That's what I'm saying. If it's if it's a guy at the caliber of running back that Melvin Gordon is, I'm much more worried about J.K. Dobbins because yeah. I think it would probably be a two-year deal. But, it, you know, are they just kicking the tires because he's been out there and they want to see how much he will play for and, like, Hey, we'll give you two years at, at this amount and maybe see if they say, hey, you know, we could get you a little cheaper or is he going to try to hold out and get a little bit more money somewhere else? Now, if you bring in another guy who's like a journeyman RB2 around the league for NFL teams, then I become a lot less worried about J.K. Dobbins yeah. because I think it's more of a scenario of, hey, we got three guys who are injured. Uh, you know, we need to we need to like you said, they don't give a shit about your fantasy team. We need to make sure we're good. Like, <laughs> so I think it, for me, the level of. Uh, wanting to buy definitely depends on the level of elk the uh, <laughs> player that they bring in has. Pretty much, we want him to get. We wanted the draft a scrub. We want to bring in a scrub. Right. And right. That's what I'm really hoping right. for. If you're a J.K. Dobbins shareholder, I don't have a good name right now, but I'm trying to think of one. That I mean, anyone in the draft later in the fourth. Well, I'm, I'm just talking round, about a veteran. Know? Like, no, I think I think they bring in like a vet, like. I don't know. Like, I don't know if David, I don't know if David Johnson's contractor scenario is, but it'd be yeah. something like that. Philip right? Lindsay. Guy. Philip Lindsay. Yeah. So that caliber of guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel you. All right. 